year along our South African coastline, several competitions get fished. These are orchestrated by the provinces and individual clubs. In Natal, it consists of common venues and postals. Common venues is an allocated area where you can fish with allocated hours. On this particular day, a common venue is fished on the lower south coast of Natal. And the clubs all get together to register and put in their teams for the day. Once everyone registered their teams, they're off to start the fishing hours. On this particular day, it was fished from half past three till half past eight on the lower part of the south coast. Now I'm fishing with Marlon and so is Dean and Joshua. And Dean went out early in the morning to several spots to have a look which looked the best. All right, we're just gonna go and have a look, eh? Looks fishable. Now the conditions weren't great for fishing and it was expected that this will be a very tough round. The scratching gear comes out immediately and the species this time of the year is mainly stone bream to look for and other little scratch fish you can get out of the gullies or the rocks. The minimum weights on a postal round is 500 grams for edible fish and a kilo for non-edible fish. Non-edible fish counting one point per kilo and edible fish two points per kilo. All fish are measured and encouraged to be released. I joined Dean and Josh at a spot at Marina Beach that looked most promising to produce some possible stone bream, maybe a bronze bream in between and some other scratch fish. This area has also produced some tussle fish in the past. You always make sure you arrive at your spot in time so that you can prep your tackle and get everything ready. Joshua was the first to get a fish on. Joshua is also club captain for Marlin Angling. All fish need to be witnessed by another club member and signed on the way. Not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. Busted, sir. Busted. Chinu inside. Let me get my dad to witness here. 30. 31. Uh, 30.5, 30. 30. that's the 30.5. Yeah. There we go. Well done, boy. After measuring this fish, it was quickly released. And Dean quickly checked it up on wikifish.co.za if it weighs enough to qualify. Unfortunately, this fish was just under 500 grams. Oh, I just wanted to eat this one. Look how beautiful these rays are. And it's awesome when you when you start fishing with the smaller hooks, the type of fish you do actually get. And now this one, I might have to cut the hook. So let's go to the box. See where the hook is. And we can grab it. Okay, now I don't want to hurt the fish. I'm just cutting my hook off. Jump. I'm just gonna put it back. Hey guys, I joined uh, Dean and them here for a common venue. They're fishing down south. We're at Marina Beach. Scratching first to get some fish on the board before the dark. Uh, 500 grams and up count, so it's actually enjoyable, really enjoyable looking for these smaller fish. Using a small mustad hook like you can see because there's more stone bream than anything else that would weigh. And they've got a very small mouth. Went 4-4 Siglon. And then we're using all kinds of uh, sand prawn, normal prawn, the shrimp, the jinglies, these little babies um, as bait and because I'm fishing right on the side here I don't even tie them up. I just rig it through and the same with the, the sand prawn and I make sure the, the hooks point it's there in between the feet and the hard part and that holds it just enough for me to get it out. So let's hope we can get something bigger than that little ras. In these gullies you still want to fish light to get those smaller fish but just heavy enough so that the sinkle will hold in this washing water. Okay guys I'm just sticking two small sand prawn, crack a shrimp one and just a little bit of cotton so it doesn't fall off. When I cast it to the spot I want it, I want to cast this one a bit further. So that's it, little bush of them, they're the actual one's head bubble. Under the circumstances, 
Marlin Fishing Club didn't do bad at all, with a couple of scratch fish coming out here and there, a rock cod, some stone bream, some eel tail barbel, to name a few. Look at that guys. <laughs> It's amazing to see all these fish species here. A little rockfish, got the same head as a rock cod, and holding on to the hook for his dear life. Pretty little thing. Hey guys, I'm just switching slightly bigger, it's lighter. Um, the shadows are falling nicely on the water here, nice working water, deep water. So, um, taking the 12 foot 6 saltist, the new saltist power slim rods, just using a circle hook, a little foil, sticking that through. It's just for movement in the bottom, and the top one I'm going to tie a prawn bait. And I'm going to put it in this deep water, but close to the rocks, not very far off. And I'm going to use one of the whole prawn, like that. Just open it up, tie it up. Use scissors is the easiest way to do prawns. By far, take the shuttle, it's nice and open. I'm going to put it inside out. It's also in a little circle loop. I believe that one of Caroline's hairs followed me all the way here. And I'm going to tie this up nicely in a little sausage and just hook it onto the smaller circle hook. This is the whole Adcan Marine Prawns with heads on. And I've also got the, the ones I was using there now, it's the little yellow boxes Adcan Marine. They've got, uh, got the red prawn without heads in there which is also very very effective both of them work very well and they also use the you get the lighter the white ones which is fantastic for this type of light tackle scratching i'll make sure i get enough cotton onto that there's the circle hook so that it doesn't fall off so i've got my prawn bait and i've got a chocker bait in the bottom for a possible cobby let's see the dark it's been tough fishing Dean's been talking to all the guys wherever they spread out there's been one bronze bream and a cave base down south with Neil Arlo and but the other guys are all struggling same story getting a bit of rest here one or two here and not weighing the fish but that's comps and first day of the northeast like Dean said now the barometer might be wrong fish aren't feeding uh, we're getting very small fish just too small to even hook that takes the bait off but maybe as it goes into the dark, we'll get some fish. Um, otherwise, you guys won't see more fish. But this is the way to actually tackle these little gullies and all the nice spots here on the far south coast. Uh, as it gets dark, bigger rock cod coming up to four, five kilo cat face. I've seen many. Um, the cave bass, lemon fish, tassel fish, a whole bunch of stuff the guys normally fish for. Um, all weather dependent, as we know. Um, can, can play a big role. You can have the best bait in the world, be in the best spot, the water looks great. Um, if the barometer is wrong and the weather is wrong, the temperature of the water is wrong, whichever one of those, it becomes tough fishing. 
All right, guys, that was two-hour session quickly at Marina Beach. Oh, absolutely lovely place. Definitely coming back here. Yeah? Unfortunately, it gets too dark for the camera, so we're going to pack it up. Given them already shot down to Trafalgar, fishing till half past eight and hoping for a couple of bigger weighers uh, to get points on the board for them into the night, which is normally the case. There's some rock cod, maybe some cave bass, and all the, the lemon fish and all the reef fish that's in the area. They're going to look for some resident fish. In fact, the previous comp, Dean just told me he got stuck into a massive, which he think was a sandy, um, fishing with his dog fight, his grind elite, He's, uh, he's, he had 80 pound braid on there with a 200 pound leader and still he couldn't stop that fish. It eventually reefed him. But um, there's a whole bunch of fish uh, in the Trafalgar area. Well, this whole area, it's all a condition base. Have your bait in the water and get a fish. But really a lovely, lovely area. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spot hop the south coast a bit and just at least introduce you guys to some of the spots. Obviously this area is, is quite sensitive to conditions. You can catch nothing in a whole morning or you can arrive in a spot and really be fortunate. So looking forward to do some spot hopping with you guys and show you all the areas down here.